Targeted therapies are completely different. They're usually small molecules, they're usually oral, so it's pills, and they directly target usually a driver mutation in the tumor. Not always, but usually. So that the drug is engineered by the pharmaceutical company to preferentially block the mutated version of a particular protein that acts as a driver. And theoretically, you should have very few collateral side effects. Well, that's not the way the world usually works. Even with targeted drugs, you have plenty of side effects. But these are very promising drugs. They work as adjuvant therapy, meaning after surgery to prolong the time to return of the tumor in one very large study called COMBI-AD. And they work very well in metastatic melanoma in collaboration with other drugs called MEC drugs. So you got the BRAF drug and the MEC drug. BRAF MEC therapy is now established. There are three doublets that have been tested. And those drugs work very well, but interestingly, giving the immunologic drugs first gives you a three-year average survival. Giving the targeted drugs first, even though many of them will not progress, meaning their tumors will stay quiescent, they don't do as well as the patients who get immunotherapy in the front line. In the front line means as their first treatment after the diagnosis of metastatic melanoma. So that's why we tend to go with the immunotherapy first. We like targeted therapy, it's great, but immunotherapy probably works better. The one exception is when a patient presents with a rapidly growing tumor. It's just exploding all over the place. It's got uh, causing symptoms, they're uncomfortable, they can't move around, they may have broken a bone. It's eating into the soft tissue of the belly wall. And if they're BRAF mutated, we're going to give them a quick hit with eight weeks of the BRAF MEC drugs. But that's what I call a quick hit. We're just going to give them eight weeks of drug, stop, and then switch to immunotherapy. Now, that's not an official FDA-approved position, but it's what I do in a scenario of a really badly off patient. 